Hi guys, welcome to Winsome Cottage Garden. My name is Hannah and I'm so glad that you decided to join me today. We are in the home garden once more. This actually might be the first time you've seen the inside of my new house, so welcome if it is. Um, but this video, we are going to kind of follow up a bit on an experiment that we did earlier this year. Now, if you've been following along, you know that I moved in early September. And at that time, I dug my Dahlia collection, which is quite large. Uh, and since September, especially in West Michigan, is not the right time of year to like dig dahlias and store them. I tried to get as much soil as I could when I did that. Sometimes it was bare root. And then I had prepared a place that we just healed them in for the rest of the growing season. Most of them did really well. Uh, however, uh, we didn't get a frost for the longest time. I was just waiting for the frost to start putting them into dormancy so I could dig and store and whatnot. And normally we should get one the second week in October and we didn't and we didn't and we didn't until Halloween where we got six and a half inches of snow in two hours, which did put these dahlias into dormancy. Fun fact, actually after that, we didn't have another frost until November 15th. And that's the only one we've had since then, which is unseasonable for us. But um, this weekend, since the snow did start popping these into dormancy, my mom and I dug the dahlias and rinsed them off and they've been drying. So why don't we take a look at my mom and I's progress and then I will meet you in the garage to show you how things are looking a couple days later and finish up this project with you. Welcome to the garage. It's uh, not quite as organized, but everything is in here. And actually I am thrilled to have this space because I didn't have a garage at my old house. I didn't even have a detached garage. I just had a shed. So a space that my car can go in the winter and I can do the Stalia project is so awesome. Mostly because I used to do this inside the house. So I'm really glad that I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, but let's check in. I did start this project earlier this week. I lost the footage of it. So let me kind of give you an update, but you'll get to see me do it for another table. Um, and I'll kind of show it, share a little bit how I store dahlias. I'm by no means an expert in this. And in fact, these have sat a tiny bit longer than they should have. Um, so if you are looking specifically for dahlia storage things, I would suggest looking at like the Impatient Gardener or Garden Answer. They have whole series on these types of things and they're much better qualified to talk on this than I am. So this is just a follow up since I did pull those dahlias early this year and that's not when they're supposed to, to check and see how they're doing. There have been a couple things that I've noted that I think are because we pulled them that have me a little bit concerned. Uh, so I wanted to share that with you before diving in, finishing up this project and getting them in crates. So you can actually see over here, we have all the dahlias I haven't touched yet. We did, when we dug them out, you probably saw that we rinsed them off. These have probably sat a tiny bit longer than they should have. They're gonna get stored today. I need to do some cleaning up of these before I do that, cutting off some 
broken and damaged tubers like this will get cut off these all this will get cut here um any that might have been like broken will get cut off now i really should let them sit for another day or two before putting them in storage but i have run out of time so we're just going to go with it uh however let's see if i can see yep here's an example of a couple dahlias i've had you will see these these are eyes and this is where the the plant should be putting up energy and spikes next year so those eyes typically you don't see at this stage um usually you'll see those in the spring but i do believe that they're probably appearing because i pulled them and sort of replanted them now if i had done this in like july i wouldn't worry at all the fact that i did it in september and those eyes about 40 percent of the dahlias i've already kind of processed had that um is a little concerning. I don't know what will happen. Now, a lot of those eyes that had, did start developing had already kind of started to blacken at the tip because of the weather. Um, so I just kind of have brushed them off and we're going to store them like I normally would. I have nothing to lose. And what I'm hoping, and I am somewhat betting will happen, is that in the spring, once the weather warms once more, they'll just start doing the same thing again. At least that's my hope, especially because they didn't put too, too much effort forth into this, that they still have enough stored in that tuber to make it through the storage season. I did mention that I've already started this project. It's not like completely perfect. I do, I am a little worried about a couple things. These got a little chilly um, last night, but um, you can see in general, there's a couple bits here and there like this uh, I'm going to pull off because... That is actually gonna rot. Now, some of these are a little, have a little more give than I would like, or look a tiny bit desiccated. I'm just gonna go with it. I have found dahlias to be remarkably resilient, and I live in hope. So, once there's a couple here that I still need to process, but once they look like this, you'll see that I've marked some, and that I also have these guys. What I do is I have a load of crates that I will just start storing these in. I also have some pet bedding which helps um keep them packed in i don't know if i will use all of this on my my bit i actually still have a number of things to dig at the cottage still who they have not experienced a frost yet uh except a very very light one which didn't put the dahlias into dormancy so we're hoping this week it's supposed to change and that we're able to process them before because i think what's going to happen is it's just going to start snowing there and they're going to skip like a frost which is unfortunate for things like dahlias so all that to say, let's dive back into this video. I'm going to go through, finish the processing I need to do and start packing. I'll speed through it and kind of show you the end results.
Okay, there is two large crates. One that I just bought because they collapsed. I had an extra that I brought so we can finish at the cottage. There were a chunk of them that you probably saw me break up. When I get there, I'll just put them out on a table, let them sit one more night, and then tomorrow I'll put them in one of the other crates. I store my dahlias in pet shavings, and overmiculate is another thing some people use. Generally, we don't have to add moisture midstream, sometimes, but not a lot. Um, and this year I used cedar. Usually I just use like aspen, uh, but cedar was on sale, and aspen wasn't. And I Googled it, and Google said that you could use either. So we're gonna try that. That is the process for the dahlias. I am so glad that a good chunk of it's done. There's still the cottage stuff to do, but that'll be a walk in a park compared to this. And it's just a relief to have that task checked off the list. I'm not gonna bring you along for the cottage dahlias because it's basically the same thing. Um, well, that's boring. So the next video you will see will be Christmas decorating at the cottage. Uh, and then we have a couple other things after that up our sleeve. I really appreciate you joining me today. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.